Hello, hello YouTubes, how's it going? So uh, today is gonna be another, um, I guess, roundup day because I haven't done this in so long where I actually showed you show you guys like what I'm using, what uh what setups I'm using, what comps I'm using for like basically my everyday uses to what kind of content that I'm doing all that kind of stuff. So I was, I was thinking like, it's been a while since we last did it. So I think it's, you know, it's about time we start doing it again. <laughs> and I think there were some people kind of asking why is my loadout have not been updated like ever? Cause yeah, I haven't really, I haven't really changed that much. So, and also like, it's quite a hassle to like do the update on that thing every now and then. So I was like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> since I barely do any changes anyway, so there's no point updating it. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna try and do from like all elements. Okay, so first we'll start with fire. There's only like few scenarios that I will only use for like my fire stuff. All right, so this is the first one. This uh, this setup that I usually use, obviously like a, uh, I would say this, that this, there's definitely better ones, but I never really bother changing and it still works for me, so I don't really care. <laughs> So this is a setup where, don't, don't, don't mind the names, the names doesn't matter by the way. So this is a setup that I use for um, Wind Dragon, like the Raid Dragon. The one that I used to solo with, this is the one that I used to do. This was originally the setup that I think I used, if I recall correctly, that I used two Guild Wars ago, like two Fire Favorite Guild Wars ago. So it was like in 2022? I think so around there yeah because you know we don't really have i mean it's around the time when these two came out around there because i think i forgot who was it i was supposed to use at that time i don't remember who <laughs> but i i did not have the character so like i was just only use i was using esser instead because i think i remember i had esser 150 at that time so i ended up using this so yeah, like the grid at that time, I think I'm, yeah, I was originally using like the uh, the premium Magna setup at that time, but since we now we have Magna 3, I kind of switch. Well, I kind of switched to Magna 3, right? Switch to Magna 3, use the, the, the three sticks, use this for another extra raw damage, the two PNS, the usual one. I'm not sure why am I using this, but I just used it for the hell of it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that really matters, but yeah, just I just slot that thing in there. Yeah, I don't think this matters at all. This 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 atom spear, I don't think that matters at all. But yeah, the rest of it, this one is I'm using the uh, double strike key, so I can, well, I can ogi with MC and uh, do double strike stuff, right? Okay, so that's what I'm using, and then for the this one, I just I think you can just I just use whatever that I have that has auto cap already, and there's that. Uh, summons is pretty straightforward. I'm using this now because you know, there's Magna Tree again, so now it's a good time to slot that in. And I'm also using this, but this is uh, zero stars. I do not have that maxed out yet. It would be nice if I have that maxed out, then I can do a little bit more damage when I use that in turn one. I think, yeah. I mean, I could kind of briefly show too, I suppose, on how I did it, but yeah, you know, I'll just do it, I guess. I did someone host some of them already, but I guess I can just show some that I can still host. Okay, so for fire, I think that's what I'd use. I think. Like I so saw, like, like I said, you, I could probably <laughs> use Helena, but like I said, I didn't really change, so yeah. So this is what I usually do. This guy, press that, press this, press this, Ogi with MC. Yeah, since, I mean, I guess also, like, since they are buffing Treasure Hunt soon, I guess having Esser would be pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, press that, press this once, press this and this, and then extend it, and then this. Yep, I guess we're gonna have uh, good stuff with Treasure Hunt soon, yes? Uh, okay, so now we are in this spot, we just attack again. All right, so now we press this. I just press this. Technically, I don't really have to press that, but I press it anyway. And then I go Kirin. Yeah, then I put this on you. And then I do this again. Because Kirin. All right, then I Ogi again. Then I do this. 
And since I managed to double Ogi with Percival, now it's at 5, so he will get to 7. Yep, now it will be at 7. So now I can also press this twice again. <laughs> Alright, press those two again. Now I will. Now I will just attack. Boop. Then now I press Babu. Technically, you don't really. I didn't. Originally, Babu is not there, but doesn't matter. We don't talk about that. We'll do this and this. Do this again. Okay, then press this. Boom. Make sure to Ogi with MC, debuff a little bit. I don't think that matters, but whatever. Now, all that's left is just smash autos until this thing dies. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, then I can Ogi again. Just smash until this guy dies. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that, I can press this too. Alright. Okay, there. See? GG. Easy, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that. Alright. Wow, 1007. So cool. Alright. So that's what I'm using for the dragon. And then the other burst that I'm using is obviously the, the restless setup. So this is the one that I think a lot of people tend to ask what I'm using for proto farming. But yeah, so this is what I'm using. It's not the best, obviously, but I'm stuck with it since it's not trash either. So yeah, I'm using Magna Tree for this as well because my fire doesn't have primal, so there's that. So same grid as the one before again, but the only difference is that I'm using Magna, I don't think this really matters honestly. But uh, the main difference is that it, I'm, I swapped it to another one because I want it to be a Freya key. Yeah, so for having a Freya key does help quite a bit for this one. And then for this one, I kind of mentioned before that uh, if you're using Alanan tech, right? If you're using Alanan tech, you want to use a Yatima and you want to use uh, summons that you cannot recast. So you can uh, cast death and uh, sun uh, with just a single button. So if you put two of these, because this one you cannot recast. So if you put two, at least two unrecastable summon, if you put these two, you're all guaranteed to summon the other two. So that's usually how it is. Okay? Okay. So uh, I'll just show a quick one. Where is uh? Oh. Okay, you can just. I usually just choose either either Magna Summon Support or Shiva Support. Doesn't matter. Orchid Refresh. And then Summon Refresh. Alanan S Four Refresh. MC Tag Team Refresh. Percival thing, refresh, and then attack, and then done. This should net you 1.5, I think. It's either between 1.5 to 1.7, so that's the one I use. So yeah, that's that's what I use, okay? Uh, so button-wise, in, in terms of full auto, you really you just need to activate tag team, Percival's S3, and then Alanan's S4. That's all you need to enable. This one, on the other hand, if you're using the Orchid thing, you have I I always manually press this. That's the only manual buttons I need to press, and then quick summon this thing. Okay, okay. All right. So for like other stuff, like uh, I think do I still have it or do I delete? It? Did I delete it already? Oh uh, yeah, I think this was the one that I used for uh Tiamat Magnet Tree farming. But yeah, this one is quite dated already. But it's basically the same thing, but instead of wrestler, I use mana diver instead. So this is like the the mana diver version instead of uh, the wrestler one. It's more or less the same anyway. Instead of using this, I just put some random dark character there. That's it. But uh, the full auto ones, I don't think I really have. I mean, I did kind of put together this thing recently as well. I forgot what was this for already. <laughs> Yeah, I just put like a full auto theme. I really don't remember. I remember I used... I think I was testing Clarice or something for this. I, I, if I recall correctly. I do not know what was this for other than that. Um, the other one, I think I did like a... Yeah, I did like another full... Uh, not really a full auto, but like longer raid setup kind of thing. Yeah, I just used... Used Esser with Fini and then Regazzo into Frau. 
yeah then this one is just for testing stuff i guess but the grids are mostly the same so i don't think it really matters yeah yeah the grid is more or less the same i didn't really use any of these anymore because it's like i have to change the key for this one for the opus key i have to change it so i'm too lazy to do that <laughs> so i'm not really doing like a lot of these stuff okay so that's fire uh water is very very limited because i'm mostly using just this thing i'm mostly using a, a certain 20 gun that's all i'm using uh so there's a few ones that i'm using so this one is mostly for like babu slash bailier farming or even um uh what you call that even far not like hard hard far not far zero to farm those those three those three uh three boys <laughs> yeah so this is the ones i'm using but the grid is mostly the same i think i don't think i really changed that much yeah i'm using draconic as well for some reason i'm not sure why <laughs> Yeah, I don't really remember why the hell am I even use dra using Draconic, to be honest with you. <laughs> I really don't. I don't really know what's the rationale of this at all. I just left that in there. Apparently, it's, it's in there. <laughs> uh, Summons-wise, I think I'm supposed to put in the Naked Babu one in here. But, uh, well, I'm not really going to stone him right now. So, that's that's for future future me to worry about. Yeah, that's probably Exalto and stuff later on, but I'm not sure when is that gonna happen. So there's that. So that's the one I'm using. I mean the 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 method wise is all mostly the same, by the way, if anyone's wondering. It's mostly the same. But uh yeah, this one is mostly for like standard stuff. So like the ones I use I use this for like wheelness and stuff, because I do not have uh what's her name? Katura, yeah. Christmas Katura was it? Yeah. I do not have her. So I'm just using a uh, Dragon Booba character for my pseudo replacement. So it kind of works. It's not that bad. So I just stuck with it. It kind of worked for me. So it's like, yeah, you know, I was stuck. Stick with it, you know. Yeah, grid is more or less the same thing like that. I sh I kind of did for our last water favorite guild war. Yeah, if you want to look back my water favorite guild war stuff, yeah, you can just go and search through my YouTube channel, right? Look, look for this stuff. Yeah, then the grid wise, I did kind of change only this thing because, yeah, I mean, still zero stars. I didn't really want to burn my stones for it. But yeah, so this is the ones I'm using. I don't really use this too much anymore. This used to be like the OTK thing for the EX Plus at that time. But since they're changing to 35 million now, so I don't think this really works anymore. <laughs> But the other ones I tend to use like yeah if I want to use like the 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 Hesse can go stuff yeah I have it here, so this is the one I'm using with all the uh, diaspora katanas in here. <laughs> yep, with double uh, double elemental summon that's really what I'm using. So that's the one I'm using. It, it still works. It's fine. I could probably put in like the Europa harps, but I don't know. I just like using this for some reason. Excuse me. And then the, for Mana Diver, I think I was testing this for Tefnut the other time and it still kind of worked anyway. With Magnet, <laughs> Magnet 3 or something. It was just testing with uh, Tefnut and it's kind of works. So yeah, I guess, I guess there's that. So it works out. Uh, so I can try to do a little bit of Bailey just to show you the, that sit setup. Is this... Okay, I'll just key in this thing, whatever. Double refresh because he does the entry trigger. Okay, that's no thing. Okay, so press B Babu, buff MC, buff MC like crazy. Yeah, I'm also technically doing this right now too, from time to time because of uh, because of the. That what the, the the event summer event thingy because this guy gives you like all elements and I still technically need more as you can see here I need more of these materials anyway just so I can uh, get my opus done anyway but yeah because I haven't I'm slacking I didn't really bother your opus the 250 stuff yet is he dead yet no it's not dead yet am I dead now but yeah I'm dead now I'll leave that guy to kill the 5% one. So yeah, usually that's what I tend to do anyway for Belial. 
or Babu. In fact, Babu, I think technically Babu, I did change up a little bit because I wasn't... Uh, Babu doesn't really have like an entry trigger. So a lot of times I just use this one instead for like Babu. For Far, I'll just use back this one as well just because Far has like a entry trigger and these two will die. So yeah, that's that's it. I can just bring in Hesse, you know. Okay. So that's mostly about my water. Uh, next one, I guess, is Earth. Yeah. So Earth is most likely going to change, <laughs> which is next time you probably see is mostly going to be Guild War, I think. that I mean, it also depends whether or not I get the Exaltos or not. But for now, the my setup for Earth stuff is still very, very similar from what I had originally since last Guild War because I don't think I really changed too much. So first things first is like my usual burst kind of thing. This smiley face thing is supposed to be like my EX plus setup where I just attack and call it a day kind of thing, which obviously cannot be used anymore because it's definitely not 35 mil. So this is the one I'm using. I think you're supposed to put another PNS here, but I didn't. <laughs> so this is the ones I'm using. I'm still using this, but uh, like I said, if you're if you have magna tree for this use that so like for example i remember i was testing like when was it a while back yeah i think this one when i was farming uh who was i farming leviathan yeah i was farming leviathan i was testing something like this this one technically does more damage kind of <laughs> it's better you just use this so yeah this works yeah this works <laughs> Yeah, uh, the key I think is double strike. Yeah, double strike key. Yep, the the yellow key, the yellow looking one. Uh, the other than that, uh, the I think the 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 grid for for these is very similar for some of others as well. So like, I think this one I used it long time ago for like proto stuff, but it's so freaking slow, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so I don't think I would suggest it either. Uh, the other ones I would definitely use a lot is like, for example, like this one. Eh, not this one. Uh, eh, where is it? Where's my earth? Uh, yeah, this one. So if I recall correctly, this is the one where I use for diaspora hosting stuff. So this is the ones I usually tend to just use it anyway. This is outdated, but it still works. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> if I want to host diaspora, yeah, this is the one that I use. Yeah, this is the one that I use. I never really change. It still works just fine. And yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's really other setups for me to share because it's not, I'm not like I'm sharing like sandbox stuff anyway. Uh, Earth stuff. The other one that I really use a lot of is most likely this one. So this is the setup that I use for, if I recall correctly, this was last Earth favorite Guild War. So as you can tell by now, the my philosophy a lot of times is that I only change stuff whenever there's Guild War, if you haven't realized it yet. <laughs> so this is the last Earth favorite Guild War that I use for, I think, Nightmare 200, that I basically mash until the guy dies. So this is the thing that I use, like, for longer fights, everyday purposes kind of thing. So yeah, this is the one I'm using right now. Yeah, this very, very similar grid that I'm using this. This is caged, if you're wondering. And then uh, double strike key again, for anyone's wondering, same thing, double strike key. You see the down there means it's double strike key. And then, yeah, very uh, say very much the same uh, grid as well and summons. But yeah, instead of that, I'm just using Galleon and uh, using her. Because back then, I did not have like the really, really insane setup at that time. I don't remember who was that. Was it Folia or something at that time? I don't remember. But yeah, this is what I used, and uh, I basically used this setup for like, uh, whoops, for like um, this one. Yeah, I use it for this one. I also use it for this one. I also use it for, who else do I use it for? Oh yeah, I'm also using it for this one as well. Uh, what else am I using it on? No, I don't think no, I don't think I use that on that one. Yeah, I think those are the only few that I used uh this set setup on. There is a particular setup for this. I guess I can just 
kind of show if you really want to mesh this is how i usually do it if you want to know i'm not sure if this kind of works for the upcoming guild war or not maybe it is i don't know because this has like a lot of defense and all that stuff so it kind of it kind of works out but i have no idea how it's 250 gonna be but maybe for 200 it might still work though so first turn let rakam die Rakamu. okay yeah press that either i just press this too same thing Buff MC, press this, MC, Zerker thingy. Yep, press the S1 and then use this... I forgot what this stupid skill called. Yep, attack, Rakam dies, Kame comes in. And then I press this. So Kame gets the red thingy. Because it's based on what is your last skill used. Okay, so now I just mash until turn 4. Still turn 3, attacking in. Okay, turn 4. Press this one, press his S4, do the turn skip for Kame, attack, refresh the skills, attack again, refresh, now you keep go you keep just pressing the, the, the few buttons here, like for Satter, now you just keep repeating until you hit like turn 11, don't, don't care, just keep, just keep mashing. Just wait until turn 11. Okay, now we are at turn 11. Turn 11, you press this and then you, you buff the remaining two characters. So in times like this, sometimes it may be a little bit risky. I can just press uh, Lucifer to, to heal or I can just press uh, the pot to heal. Either way it works, doesn't matter. I don't, think I don't even think I need to heal anyway. Yeah, just attack again. So after attack again at turn 11, did I is yeah, so I can press uh, this this one real quick. Wait, no, I didn't attack actually. What the fuck? I'm retarded. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? It didn't went through. So yeah, so the idea was supposed to press Babu in this turn. <laughs> I fucked up a little bit, but that's fine. Just imagine this is Babu, okay? But yeah, usually you do that. You press this too. Again, you refresh the thing again, and then you came S three, and then you do this, and then yeah, just attack and mash again. Obviously, it's supposed to be higher because it's supposed to be a Babu turn, but since it's not a Babu turn, it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay. So that's what I did. This is the one I did. Usually, this works for both for the ones I mentioned earlier. Like the 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 rotation is just mostly just mashing through turns. Because you have very, very minimal lockout since Satyr and Galleon doesn't really attack all the time. So a lot of times. You're only just going through with Kame and MC all the time. So you are able to have very, very minimal lockout whenever you're just mashing refresh. So that's that's kind of like the, 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 how do I say, the mechanic of this setup, I guess. That's what this is. All right. So that's, I guess that's all mostly the, uh, the Earth setup that I have. I mean, I guess I still kind of use this if I want the full auto far, like the hard far. Yeah, I kind of use this. I obviously can change to having this guy in the front line, but I, like I said, and I never really bother changing. It still kind of works out and it's <laughs> doesn't matter, I guess. But yeah, so this is the ones I'm using. <laughs> Very dated, but it still works. And I'm too lazy to change. Yeah, see? So very data setup. And I'm using Paladin. And what shield is this? This is the Init shield, I think. I don't remember what shield is this. This is the Ogi... The Ogi charge bar gain or something? Or is it Ogi cap? I forgot. <laughs> okay. So that's my earth. Uh, Wind is probably the one that I hardly ever touch nowadays. But the ones I usually touch is obviously the, the burst setup right now. But I haven't really changed the key, I think. So the key for this was I'm supposed to use the, uh, the double strike key. For those who's wondering if you're using the Spartan tech. It's not Paladin, it's Spartan, okay? So I'm using the Magna Tree stuff with uh, Nataku Spear or Nessa Spear. Yeah, same thing. This one, you're probably supposed to use Auto Cap, by the way. Yeah, with PNS here and there. Yeah, I'm just using all these summons as well. Babu, all that stuff with uh, these characters, yeah. So this was the one that I kind of used for, um, what I call that, uh, Yugu farming, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I was farming Yugu with this set setup. So basically, I'm only casting this too. For MC, this is the ultimate, the ultimate mastery skill thing. 
Yep, this two. The one that gives you extra damage, echo kind of thing. And then I was just doing extra, you know, putting this as well. Whichever you feel like you want to use or not. Yeah, but oops. Yeah, this one. Neo S3 and then Naru doing Naru stuff. It works out. Doesn't matter. Yeah, very dated. Kind of works for now. It is what it is. Um, the other standard setup I tend to use is um, definitely not that. I'm using this because I was also playing around with uh, I've forgotten her name. <laughs> is it is this Ami? I I don't remember her name. I guess that's her name, right? Basically, I'm only using this for uh, like dragon, so like. Earth Dragon. I'm using this for Earth Dragon. It used to be... Uh, this one used to be... What's her name? Neo. If I recall correctly, this used to be Neo. But it's doing like less... It's much faster if I just use this. And then for this one, I was using this uh, Chaos Ruler one. For... Uh, Yugu. Yes, Yugu Magna Tree. Yeah. So this is the one I used to farm for Yugu Magna Tree. So it kind of works. Yeah, it kind of works. Not the greatest. Not supposed to full auto with this either. Because you, s apparently this team dies at 40% if you are not careful. So yeah, but I like I said, I don't really full auto. I just manual most of the time. If I had to full auto, I just don't play the game. <laughs> Alright, so that's usually my win. I Like I said, my win has like very, very uh, minimal upgrades since the past only thing is just maybe just exalto stuff and here and there okay and then the other one next one would be five eh, light so light i think you probably seen most of it already because i kind of showed it in the uh, the dread barrage thing so for my full auto stuff i tend to use this one well full auto stuff so like this one is I used to do like a uh, light uh, dark dragon uh, proto. Yeah, those are the few ones I tend to use this for. Okay, yeah, that's what I used with uh, Song and uh, Geisen Borger in the back line. Yeah, that works. Yeah, and then yeah, summons is pretty like that I guess. So this is the ones I use for those two. Uh, uh for bursts. Yeah, like I said, you guys probably seen it already recently because I showed it in Dread Barrage again. So I'm using, yeah, this thing. I'm also using this thing. The The grids are more or less the same thing from the one I showed. Yeah, not, not really that much difference from the Dread Barrage video. Yep, same thing. Same thing, yep. So I just relic I just use Borelic Buster with Flugan stuff and that's pretty much about it. Yeah, then there's uh, the other the other burst that doesn't include uh Florence, so this is a slightly faster one which which really just uh uses the uh the Gizoku on Bandit Tycoon's ultimate mastery thing where you can get flurry if you're using this whatever this bounty ultimate skill thing. Yeah, this this thing. But yeah, that's what I'm using. Magna tree stuff as well. Cool. Alright, that's that. And then for dark, I think dark is also very, very minimal as well. You can refer to the last dark favorite Guild War, which just happened a couple of months ago or something. Yeah, you can uh, refer to that or uh, that videos for specific uh, explanation too. But the ones that I really changed was really the... Uh, my Nightmare 200 setup that I used, I'm apparently using it right now on uh, on the uh, Dragon as well. I used to use something different, but now I'm using like I'm using it on like like Dragon. I can show it again if you want to, and I'm also using it on uh, Shiny as well. So um, let me do that real quick. I am using the. Uh, the method a little bit different though. Yeah, I am pressing all these buttons for Ilsa. Press that. Death. Yeah, death her. Bye bye, Nia. It's nice knowing you. 
and then Ray do that uh, on MC buff M okay and then attack eh I forgot to press this Lamau almost fucked up <laughs> okay attack and then for this one if this was ultimate Baha HL I would press this skill okay since I cannot host it now I I, I can do it in trial but I don't really feel like doing it <laughs> but uh, if you if this set team, if I want to do it for Ultimate Baha HL, I'll press this in turn 2, okay? But since this is normal dragon, I don't think I need to press it. And then turn 3, swap. Go this, and this. So in usually what I also tend to do is that I will press tag team first. This also applies to like uh, the shiny guy. Ultima Baha HL guy, but usually for this technically I can cast this first. So usually I just cast this now. And then Kirin. Excuse me. And then press this too. And then press this. And then attack. Alright, then turn 4 I press this. But I press Babu Zinitra. And let the magic happen. Okay, time to spam tag team. Time to spam tag team. Boop. And a boop. And the boop. And he's dead. And I haven't even attacked yet. But yeah, that's what I did. So you could do that. As I could, I'm doing it the same for Ultima Baha HL as well. With this guy. Referring to this guy. So yeah, that's what I'm using. The grid is the same as well. I don't think I really changed it. I'm using this, if you're wondering. Yep, so there's four fists. So this works. This one is the uh, double strike key. I don't think that really matters, honestly. But if you're using similar setup as this, that's not that you're not using the Orologia's weapon, the, ex the Primal Exalto, yeah, you will want to use double strike anyway. And I have since I have Sky Piercer, might as well just use that, right? I had this like for so long already. Yep. Summon wise, that's what I'm using, and that's it. Yep. Yeah, this is the ultimate mastery skill for wrestler. Yeah, for this one. Just so that you can if you get like seven stacks, your thing will reset and your MC will have the entire full turn of Assassin. That's why it's relatively nice to use this. With the help of this where you can reset like crazy. Okay. Um, other than that, I think this one I use for like if I want to solo Belil or Babu or something. Yeah, this is the setup that I use, I think. Yeah, something like this. Obviously, I can use better ones, but it works, so who cares? <laughs> Uh, other than that, what else? I don't think I really use any other things, do I? Other than the whole standard Arash stuff that I use. This one, I think this, yeah, this is the one that I kind of use as like with Hades support 250 kind of thing. So this kind of works a little bit. But I don't think it really matters. The, yeah, if you do not have this, it doesn't matter. Just use uh, Fallen Swords or whatever. Or even just use uh what you call that? Um Magna Magna One. Yeah, Magna One. Not 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 Magna Three. <laughs> Magna One kinda still works as well. Because you're you can actually just use uh, some other summon without needing to use the Magna summon as your support, you know? That's why. But if you wanna use um Magna Exalto that works too, I suppose. But yeah, I didn't really change. Oh well, who cares? It is what it is. Alright. Um, other than that, I think that's really about it, right? I don't think I really use any of these random random setups here. This is all like... I don't even know what these are. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what these are. Yep, I didn't really do anything. Yeah, all this stuff I hardly change. I don't know, what the hell? Oh, was this me testing this guy? Yeah, probably. <laughs> So yeah, this is all the setups that I have for the ones that I really use on a daily basis kind of thing. Uh, hopefully that helps in any way, shape or form. Uh, things are going to be changing, especially for Earth soon. 
because I am most likely going to be only sparking during the time when Earth Exalto comes out. Because my Earth is at least very, very close to completion. As if I can get Exaltos, yeah, I'm pretty much done already. But that seems very unlikely to happen. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Till then, I will wish you guys the best of luck in your daily free rolls and all that stuff. Hopefully, you guys get good RNG and instead of me. Till then, take it easy. Stay safe. Drink so lots of water. And I'll see you guys next time. Max DD.